Einstein said that you can take energy and produce particles with mass, with what's probably the most famous uh, science equation of all. So you get take energy, convert it by convert it with this conversion factor c squared, which is the square of the speed of light, which is quite a large number. So if you take some mass, you can get a lot of energy out. What that means is if you've got some energy, you can produce particles effectively from nowhere. But you can only do this if certain quantities balance, for example, um, char electric charge. So you can't produce a positive electric charge without producing a negative electric charge. And what happens is if you do this conversion of energy, say in cosmic rays, you take a part, if you produce a particle, you produce its equal and opposite partner. The first piece of antimatter ever discovered, which is the name of the partner, was the positron, which was discovered in 1932 by Carl Anderson and he saw it in a cloud chamber, which is a wonderful device where charged particles um, give you a track as they go through. It's a little bit like the trails of airliners. And he noticed there was a particle which curved in the opposite direction in the magnetic field to an electron, so he knew that it had a different charge, and it knew it had about the same mass as the electron, and he concluded that it was somewhere between the mass of the electron and the mass of the proton. And it was the first piece of antimatter discovered. I suspect, I think he was a graduate student at the time, and I suspect like most graduate students, he hadn't read all the theory, so he didn't immediately recognise it as the antimatter which had been predicted by uh, Bristol physicist Paul Dirac sometime earlier.